Thanks for clicking. Is the Bank of Canada losing money? According to a statement first made to the Toronto Star and confirmed Wednesday by Bank of Canada Governor Tiff Macklem, the Bank of Canada, Canada's central bank, is losing money for the first time in its history. The statement obviously made widespread headlines as the Bank of Canada, Canada's money printer, is set to lose money due to rising interest rates. How the f*** you do that? Well, they're not really. Not like you and I lose money anyway. So what I want to do today is go over the statement by Governor Macklem to the Finance Committee, go over a brief run-through of quantitative easing, discuss why the bank is technically losing money, and then discuss what to look for next. Speaking of next, it is the end of the month, so we should start receiving November's real estate data from the local boards by the end of the next week, and we'll obviously have updates out on that data on this channel. Click like and subscribe if you want to get those updates, but for now, let's get into the Bank of Canada's money. On to Governor Macklem. In a statement made to the Finance Committee on Wednesday, the governor admitted that the bank will be losing money, saying after a period of above average income, our net interest income is now turning negative. The statement then went on to say that the size and duration of the losses will ultimately depend on a number of factors, including the path of interest rates and the evolution of both the economy and the balance sheet. So the Bank of Canada is losing money, the size and duration of which will depend on both the economy and the balance sheet. But what does Governor Macklin mean by this? To answer this, we have to very quickly go back to the bank's quantitative easing program, QE, which started at the beginning of the pandemic as a means to lower borrowing costs, both for you and I and for the government. Very briefly, as we've been through this before, during QE, the government sold bonds to the banks, which then sold those bonds to the Bank of Canada, and the Bank of Canada paid for those bonds with settlement balances a type of money that the Bank of Canada creates and deposits into the accounts of our main banks, the main banks that you and I would use. And this is where the whole money printer versus money creator debate came in. As the Bank of Canada argued over Twitter, that it was only creating settlement balances and not cash. But regardless of the debate between created or printed money, we know that the Bank of Canada bought bonds from the banks and is now losing money. But why? When the Bank of Canada bought those bonds during quantitative easing, it bought bonds that had very, very low yields, very low rates of return, and fixed rates of return. So the amount of money that was going to be made off those bonds was very low. The government at the time wanted cheap financing for you and I and itself, and the Bank of Canada was only too willing to provide. Right, right, so what's the big? By the height of the bank's asset buying program, it had bought nearly $430 billion worth of government bonds on low interest rates and has been getting paid back ever since. But, and here's the real kicker, the Bank of Canada has to pay interest on those settlement balances that it created and used to pay the banks it has to pay money to the banks. A lot of that money that was printed or created and given to the banks is still in deposit in those banks' accounts at the Bank of Canada. Those deposits are liabilities for the Bank of Canada, liabilities on which it has to pay interest. So you and I deposit our money at, say, RBC. RBC has to pay us interest. In the same manner, the main banks, the big financial institutions, keep their money at the central bank. The central bank, the Bank of Canada, has to pay them interest. Variable interest. <laughs> And now interest rates are much higher than they were during quantitative easing, and the bank has to pay those higher interest rates on those deposits being held at the Bank of Canada. So on the one hand, the Bank of Canada is holding these bonds that it purchased, bonds which have very low rate of return, very low yields. And on the other, it has to pay variable interest rates on these deposits held at the Bank of Canada by these banks. Deposits on those settlement balances that the Bank of Canada created to pay for these bonds. Bonds. And it is paying variable interest. It is paying higher interest on those settlement balances than it is receiving from these low fixed rate bonds. Okay. So, created money or not, the Bank of Canada is paying real money, real interest on that money that it created. So the Bank of Canada is losing money as it is paying higher interest on its settlement balances that it created due to rising interest rates. But what happens now? Now, any profits that the Bank of Canada usually makes in normal times just gets transferred back over to the federal government. And the bank has said that it expects that will happen again within the next few years when it becomes profitable. More recently, the Department of Finance said that the bank has yet to provide a solution on how they plan to address the issue, though Governor Macklem said there needs to be a solution and expects one is coming. 
In the meantime, though, as the Bank of Canada tries to work out a solution, it has stopped paying interest on the reserves held at the bank by the government of Canada. The Bank of Canada is still paying interest to the banks, but it's no longer paying the interest to the government of Canada on the funds held at the bank. Go get the money. So, in summary, the Bank of Canada is now losing money as it has to pay variable rate interest on the money that it created during the pandemic. Money that the banks, that the major financial institutions are still holding in their account at the Bank of Canada. And that interest, due to higher interest rates that we've all been seeing, is lower than it actually receives from the bonds that it purchased with that money. So while the Bank of Canada has been adamant that it didn't print money, it just created settlement balances, it is paying real money, real interest charges on those settlement balances. That's real money leaving the Bank of Canada's coffers. With all of that said, rightly or wrongly, as Benjamin Tao put it, the Bank of Canada is not going to lose any sleep over its lost money. It's not in the business of trying to be profitable. It's in the business of controlling inflation. And so job well done. And maintaining monetary policy. But this does serve as a stark reminder that the Bank of Canada, the central banks, the Federal Reserve, cannot create money ad infinitum without there being consequences. If they could create billions, trillions of dollars, depending on the central bank, whenever they wanted, with zero consequences, then they would do it all of the time. But, as we've seen, with the rising cost of goods, with the falling housing market, with the Bank of Canada losing money, with the government not getting interest on its own reserves anymore, the banks cannot create money out of thin air without there being consequences. With that said, we will continue to cover those consequences, hopefully not too drastic, on this channel. If you want to get those updates, make sure you click like and subscribe. But for now, thanks so much for watching.